pick next. One of the best ways to spend a summer day. So back to help us pack a perfect picnic is Shona, and she knows what she's doing. <laughs> We're going to start with coolers because yes. you want to bring the stuff and you want it to be cool. But what what should we bring? Yes, we're although coolers, you know, are good at keeping things hot as well. By the way, this okay. is cooler season. We yeah. always think of this, even though really, well, in the winter we'll revisit that. Yeah. But what are you looking for if you're going to invest in a cooler? Think about how you're going to use it. Literally, where are you going to carry it to? Yeah. How do you want to carry it? What do you want to put in it? Mm -hmm. So I've got a couple of coolers here uh, from Yeti, and this one is the Rody 24. Okay. It's clearly a hard shelled cooler. Yeah. You know that has the flip up lid, which stays up on its own. One hand, love that. Good. Um, and then we've got the soft sided cooler, which is the Hopper Flip 18. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is a soft sided, but it's when I saw this one at first, I was like, well, is that really going to take much abuse? Because I was worried about tears or scratches and yes. things like that. Of course, they've made it from a fabric that completely resistant to all those things. So what are we, how are we going to carry it? Let's start with a handle. So this one has just a handle handle. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to put it on your shoulder. It's one that is going to be handheld or in the crux of your arm, something yeah. like that. See if that works for you. This one has a fantastic handle on the top, but it also has a shoulder strap. I like that. Right, so that works for Think you. Think about maybe. when you're parking at a provincial park or wherever you are. You yeah. have to walk to get right. into wherever you're going, right? So right. it either needs to be a wheelie or that nice uh, strap that you can use, like right across. Right, or this one, for example. So this would be like car tailgating. Right. Maybe for you. You, right. you would use exactly. it for tailgating. This yes, one, she knows because me so this well. Would, yeah. <laughs> yes. This would be, you know, for the provincial park. Right. But what are you going to put in it? So mm -hmm. as you can see, this one is shorter and wider. I'm going to say same capacity. Uh, coolers are all uh, measured by the amount of cans. It's kind of a universal-ish oh, okay. type uh, yeah. way of knowing the capacity. This fits 33 cans and this fits 30. So the capacity mm. is very similar to them. Mm -hmm. But here's the difference. I like mm -hmm. to picnic with wine. Yes. <laughs> um, and in this one, wine's not going to fit. Oh, well, that's but a problem. But in this one, it is. So, oops, oh. so if this one, so it's, it's wine or if you want to bring taller pot bottles, yeah, yeah, things yeah. like that. If that's your cup of tea, then you're going to look for the harder one. Fair. I mean, the taller one. Okay, think yeah. about these things. Yeah, Let's talk really about great. the containers to bring stuff in. Let's. We know better now. We do not need to use single-use plastics that are going to wind up in landfills, etc. Right. So when it comes to your beverages, you can get clamp jars that all really inexpensive these ones are, I think were from Ikea they're from my home they're lovely you're gonna put your water in that you'll put your pop your lemonade your mm -hmm. sangria your whatever it is that tickles your fancy for that so yeah. these are really convenient to have when it comes to your food yeah tell, packaging, them, tell them what you told me <laughs> like tell actually the way told. I said it yeah the glass clamp jars for food in my opinion Suck. <laughs> she said they suck. She said She's they like, suck. You have to say that. I word. understand why you said that though, because yes. these are very, very aesthetic. But you can't stick a fork in and start eating. You yep. got to pour it into something else. And yep. the thing you dislike the most—they're heavy. They're heavy. They're, they're, they're so heavy. heavy. So we're yeah. going to choose the glass for the liquids because this makes sense. Yes. This we're going to fill ourselves. Mm -hmm. This we can do better. Okay. You might have something already on hand. I showed this is a Tupperware that is mm. a type pet thing that's for. Um, uh, Leftovers for food, yeah. but <laughs> my new favorite <laughs> find yeah. are these baggies, these reusables. They're Ziploc and durables. Okay. okay, and leave it to Ziploc to make a home run out of these. The we silicone bags have been around for a long time. Lots of brands. Yeah. I have easily bought six different brands, and I have never liked or kept them before. Hence yeah. why I haven't shown them on the show before because they didn't quite cut it for me. Yeah. These ones, I got a sample. I put them through the ringer, and they hold up. I want to tell okay. you why. They've got an extremely secure seal. I'm going to call it a double seal because it is really thick. I filled it with tap water, turned yeah. it upside down, shook it all the heck. Nothing came out of it. Ooh, it's got a good. tab on the top so you can actually open them without trying to, like, make Important. yourself completely crazy. Yes. And it's made of platinum silicone, so very food safe. Yeah. But what I like about this is it's flat in the bottom. Right. And so, for example, I've got my pasta salad here. I can open it up and I can eat right out of it. And it's going to sit like that. It's this is the thing. Like it goes in the oven. It goes in the dishwasher. So I said, did you yes. put pasta in here? Was it ever oily? It yes. was oily. It was oil. I put it in the dishwasher, on the rack. All yeah. of the oil came out of it. Yes. Finally. And tonight I'm saying, put some curry in there yes. and you get back to me. <laughs> yes. Okay? Yes. And then you get back to me. I wish I had you thought to do me that. If it gets clean, because that would be 
be the test, right. but it looks good. And I wish I had thought to bake um, like a fruit cobbler in them because they go yeah. in the oven and then you can zip it up and take it on your picnic. It's pretty cool. Ah, I thought of it late. You've got some cups that are biodegradable, super important. Yes, paper cups are fine. Just yeah. make sure you're choosing compostable, biodegradable. If they're beautiful. inexpensive now. There's no reason not to have those. Reuse napkins and your beautiful cutlery and, yep. a, uh, and a cutting board if you can swing it. So yep. great items. If you want any or all of these items for your <laughs> next picnic, scan the QR code on your screen right now and you can shop the show. It's as easy as that. Time for a short break. Enjoy your picnics, everyone.